Plow comes the snow sport all terrain. Again, we want to provide you the freshest weather information for eastern Pennsylvania, western New Jersey, right here, Channel 69 WFMZ. And we thank you for allowing us to serve you in that capacity. Keep the emails coming in WFMZ.com. There's a, just a little button there you can send in your totals. Now, let's do your ra round robin for you to get you uh, some kind of sense of what's happening here. And again, we're going to be doing it again at uh, on the hour, 9, 10, 11, 12, as conditions warrant. So, Pam. Standing by, and why I'm missing, Pam, I think you are standing at least very close to, in our viewing area, at least some of the heavier amounts of snow there in most parts of the Berks County area already, 10 to 16 inches on the ground. And I think uh, you're, by the time you're said and done, probably going to be talking about even more. Uh, tell us what you've got. Well, actually, Ed, it's probably not great for me to say exactly how much we are, because I'm probably standing in a big pile that's left over from a plow that went by, but it is above my knees where I'm standing right now. And if you take a look at the bank sign that's down here, uh, it's 22 degrees, so obviously it's not hard for the snow to stick to the grounds. If you look at the roads, they have been doing a good job. This is Museum Road uh, between Shillington and Wyoming Missing, and if you take a look, it is there. It's about only an inch right now that's on the ground right there. So they're doing a really good job keeping up uh, with the snow. They've been out all night. Now, one thing that was interesting that we just talked to a landscaper that came by, and he said that this is keeping them really busy. Because of the economy, a lot of people in the springtime have decided to mow their own, own lawns. Uh, they're taking care of some things themselves. But what they can't do is plow. So they've been really, really busy. They're thankful for all this snow. Uh, and because it's on a weekend, for most people, it shouldn't be an issue. Issue. Uh, they don't need to go out, but there's people that got to work. We got to work. Uh, the the people that are plowing are working. People at Wawa are working. So the people who are going out, luckily, it looks like uh, the roads are pretty clear right now. For I mean, all things considering, but this snow is still coming down. It's not blowing too hard right now, so you can see. And um, I guess we'll take it out out to Mark to see how it's out there in Whitehall Township. How's it doing, Mark? Yeah, it's uh, still coming down pretty good here in Whitehall Township. Uh, we started up here right before 10 o'clock last night. We were out here for a live shot then, and we've been dealing with the snow ever since then. Right now, if you want to take a look, as far as uh, the snowfall amounts go, you can see that the snow is about up to my ankles. So we're going to call this a chihuahua. It's biting at my ankles. So we're going to call this a chihuahua-like snowfall here in Whitehall Township at the Perkins. And as far as the roadways go, you can see 145. There is snow on it people are getting around but it is a lot slower than normal this morning 22 off in the distance the same situation there the snow isn't as high as it is on the grass they have come through they have plowed but it is still on the roadways and people are moving at a slower pace here in whitehall township this morning so if you are going out if you have to go out please be very safe Take your time traveling, especially around this area. And as Pam said, also in Berks County, they're dealing with the same situation, basically straight up and down the board. If you have to go out this morning, please be careful. If you don't have to go out, stay inside. Enjoy some of the nice weather and some of the nice conditions because out here, it is not fun at all. The wind is whipping and the snow is coming down. Live from the Perkins in Whitehall, back inside of you guys. All right, hey, thanks very much, Mark. We are going to take a look at some of the roadways around the area from the 69 News Traffic Center. We've been on the phone with some people, and as our reporters were mentioning, it, you do possibly have to go out. People have to go to work. Businesses have to open. If you do need to go out today, please take some preparations. Make sure your car is prepared to drive in this type of weather. One thing we've been hearing about are, are some minor incidents of disabled vehicles, people that are just going out without the proper vehicle. If you do need to head out, let's give you a perspective on some of those roadways and a couple of tips on some information that might help you out. If you have to head out, make sure you've got a basic kit with you, some non-perishable food, water, blanket, a shovel, and some warm clothes. Always a good idea to have it in your car in a weather event like this because as Mark said, it is very cold out there, and if your car becomes disabled, you don't want to be without the resources to, uh, to fend for yourself. Uh, looking at uh, 412 at I-78, you can see the tractor trailer is still making it up 78. Of course, we're going to keep an eye on 78 throughout the day. Certainly want to keep that open. 22 at the Free Bridge, you can see some traffic getting by there as well. Moving throughout other parts of the area, 145 at 22 where Mark is. Again, the roads are passable. Not a whole lot taking shape out on the roadways right now. 100 at I-78, again, passable. Looking throughout other parts of our region up at Airport Road at 22. Again, a little bit more traffic.
traffic there, probably some folks heading to work or off to the shopping centers. Again, if that's something you have to do today, just take some precautions. Be prepared when you go out. Keep in mind, we are going to be here throughout the day with more information for you. Snow emergency plans are in effect, and that's really important. Make sure to check out our website at WFMZ.com to find out when the snow emergency plan effect in your area expires. Uh, one thing that a lot of people get caught with from time to time is thinking the snow is over. I can go park on the street. That's not necessarily the case because right now the road crews are working on the majors and some of the side streets. It may take them some extra time to get to the secondary roads in your region. Another thing to consider if you're going out, PennDOT has asked for reduced speeds on some of the major highways through our area. Speed limits are down to about 45 miles per hour, depending upon where you are traveling. Some of those majors include I-78 in Berks, Lehigh, and Northampton, I-80 up in Carbon and Monroe, where we're hearing some reports of some disabled vehicles as well, Interstate 380 in Monroe County, Interstate 81 in Schuylkill County, 22 at Lehi in Lehigh and Northampton counties, and 33 in Northampton County. We're going to keep an eye on the roads throughout the day, and right now we are going to throw things down to the meteorologist Ed Hanna, who's got the latest from the Weather Center. Ed. Vern, Pam, Mark, thank you so much and I thank you all of our viewers who are taking time out, out of your uh, maybe it's a busy Saturday morning getting your hot chocolate or coffee and joining uh, maybe some donuts and getting ready this is Super Bowl weekend and uh, what a kind of an interesting way to kick off Super Bowl weekend I want to get bring you up to speed here as, as far as what we've got and then again inviting you at the top of every hour right on through the morning hours and then of course as conditions warrant if it's needed throughout the afternoon we just want to make sure that you have the latest and freshest information temperatures this is one of those very light fluffy snows look at the temperatures obviously this means very light very fluffy snow it's not that kind of heavy packing so the winter storm warning has been issued and is in effect until seven o'clock this evening now all that said i do not think that i i think that's probably just because even though the steadiest snow is going to be long gone by this evening the way things are looking right now uh it looks as though obviously it's going to take a while to get everything cleaned up um, but be aware again the heaviest and steadiest snow is already starting to lighten up in the northern tier counties but we're going to hang on to that in these darker shaded blue areas the snow will hang on for uh, a number of hours here yet through the morning hours take a look here i want to be able to show you we're seeing some uh, evidence here of this storm pivoting what do i mean by that we'll take a look we're going to kind of loop it but i want you to notice take a look at the the shades of blue that we're looking at here those darker shades of blue that were further north are starting to slide down to the south also notice Notice this northern edge of the snow itself, you can see, was actually up into New York, and it's kind of creeping back down a little tiny bit to the south. This is a trend that we're going to have to watch very, very carefully to see how it unfolds. I suspect what, happened, what will happen is that will progress only to a certain point, at least for a while, then stop for a while as that pivoting and as that, again, storm off of Norfolk continues to take over. But it's an interesting thing that the storm had kind of arrived from south to north, and I think it's going to end actually from north to south. That's a, that's a real interesting, if you, you think about that, that's a little bit unusual from oftentimes the way many storms get into our area. Uh, of course, if you take a look, there's another way you can get in a sense here. Do you notice like, you see the, can you notice the darker shades of blue? Of course, our new HD computer really gives you some, some incredible definition, but as I put it into motion, you can obviously see these darker shades of blue were actually coming from the south up and through our area and now what's happening is they're starting to kind of drop back down through our area and we're starting to see a trend where everything was going from south to north now those bands are starting to drop back down as that pivoting of the system itself is taking place fascinating stuff to be able to watch here uh, in real time of course that area of low pressure that'll be the, that's the primary handed off that energy I told you about last night from what was the main low now off the coast of Norfolk Virginia and that will start to move up and away from the area look at that gradient we've been talking about it all week long it's remarkable that you could be talking about places like Binghamton New York barely getting a trace New York City barely seeing anything yet they'll probably end up at least with an inch or two and then you get down to places just south of Philadelphia towards Washington Washington, you're going to be talking about 18 to 24 inches of snow. That's remarkable. And you can obviously imagine how ch challenging that is to forecast. Again, these are what we're anticipating as far as snowfall totals. Northern tier counties well up towards Scranton, one to three if that. And you got a band, a narrow band of three to six. Good part of the Lehigh Valley, we had been saying four to eight inch amounts. And we had been saying that we like the higher end of that amount. Already, again, we're seeing in many parts of the area six to eight inches on the ground.
I don't necessarily think I like the 12 inches. We'll have to watch that. Again, we really enjoy that, th think that kind of the middle of that range right there. No question about it. There are southern tier counties in that 12 to 20 inch zone already there. And I think we could see some additional amounts, but I still think that's going to stick. And then further off to the south, 18 to 24 inch amounts. This is no question. Obviously, when you have a storm like this, it's a fluid motion, fluid uh, a storm, always changing. Keep the emails coming in, WFMZ.com, that cool new interactive radar satellite, current conditions. You'll love that. We're going to give you another update at the, next t at the top of the hour. So don't miss it. Stay with us through the morning hours. Have a good one. All right, good to see you. I hope you're doing well, having a great day. Just a real quick peek. These numbers that you're looking at, I just hope you, you can appreciate the, 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 the value of this map that you're looking at right here. This represents hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you emailing us, letting us know how much you have at your home. We're constantly updating it. I mean, I wish I, I wish you could see my email over there. It's almost like kind of like the stock market. It's a boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's emails are just coming in that fast. And I love that. I love the fact that you guys like we're what you're like working on our team here to and provide all of this comprehensive information for our area. I just think that is so cool. I love uh, the fact that we've got live TV going. And of course, we've got the Internet, our website, and you're, you're going to a WFMC.com and it's just uh, f fantastic so keep up the good work but remember a big challenge for you guys who are going out and measuring in your backyard is making sure you can find an area that's unaffected by the wind many people going out there and saying I don't know what to do if I see four inches I see 14 inches what do I do you want to try to find areas that are not affected by the wind buffered by the wind take four measurements add them together divide it by four and that'll be your total but all of these numbers we're seeing lesser amounts here to the north of course four to ten now we were saying five to ten for most of the lehigh valley area i'm getting a couple places that uh, for example closer into may some parts of northampton county only have four inches so far so but i know we have some as high as ten so plenty in that like seven eight inch range right now three to six in northern northern new jersey seven to ten in western central new jersey eight to twelve here uh, to closer to Philadelphia, 10 to 18, easily Berks County right now, and parts of Montgomery, the bullseye. Uh, we're going to get, let's go over to uh, the Cinema Live box real quick. I want to be able to show you. Here, as far as our, our, our radar is concerned, we have been watching the shades of blue drifting through our area, and it's the, the darker shades of blue that we're kind of most concerned with as we're, again, keeping a very close watchful eye on that as they've been drifting through our area. One thing we want to know for what we, we've been watching for sure here are temperatures. Clearly, they're well below the freezing mark and so obviously that's a no-brainer if you're heading out uh, we're not seeing any melting whatsoever here of course unless they've been treated and even in that case you got temperatures like this are, are really quite slick of course we want to know how the roadways are doing and i'll bring you lots more radar and information but first let's go to Vern anderson who's standing by Vern has come on in here and i i, I hope it's okay Vern. i know it's personal information but you can, uh, you're coming in here on the crutches because the last no event you broke your ankle i'm telling you that's i'm serious dedication today I, I, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. It's a thrill to be working with you. A little bit, a little bit painful on the leg from time to time, but I've got the ice pack, so we're going to get it through and get you the information you need to know. And hopefully, you'll heed the advice that I didn't and stay inside and stay off your feet. And that way, you'll be in good shape. Let's take a look at those roadways and give you an idea of what's going on in the Lehigh Valley and Berks County right now. We have got a few things going on on the roadways. I-78 at 100. You can see tractor trailers moving by just nicely. We're hearing a lot of fender benders, a lot of um, oh, just minor accidents accidents here and there along 22 and mainly centered around the bridges and off ramps right now. That's where you have to be most, most careful. As you can see, the roadways look a little slushy, a little slick, but basically, for the most part, they are passable. That we did talk with folks at uh, the uh, uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. Very quick conversation with them. Asked them how the roads were. They said not good. Asked how the travel was from the Lehigh Valley down to Philadelphia. Words, not good. Advice, stay home. Probably the best advice, just stay off the roadways if you don't have to go out. Now, there are some people that do have business or travel plans that are going to take them out today. Our uh, assignment desk has been gathering some information throughout the day as well. Lehigh Valley International Airport, runways are open. They do suggest you check the website for specific flight information because, as Ed has been showing you, this storm covers a pretty significant region. 
So there are going to be delays in other cities. In fact, I was on the phone with a friend uh, down in Baltimore where they are e easily over a foot of snow right now. Lanta and Bardo running with snow emergency plans if you need to take bus transportation today. We did check in with PPL. One power outage in Northampton, five in Bucks. Met, Met Ed is saying that it has less than 500 power outages in the Bethel area. Now, a number of crews are out on the roadways. You can see best bet is just stay out of their way. We do have a couple of snow emergency plans that were put into effect at the last minute. This morning, Sladington and Lehigh County added their snow emergency plan, and Laureldale and Berks County added their snow emergency plan as well. We're going to keep you up to date on the roadways and information that's going on here at the studio. Keep in touch with PennDOT and the state police. But at the same time, we're also going to rely on our reporters out in the field. And that's why right now we're going to throw it to meteorologist Mark Schanneberger. He is out reporting in Lehigh County, Whitehall Township. Mark, how are things on the roads? Uh, well, right here in Whitehall Township, we're sitting outside of the Perkins. Uh, the roadways, as you mentioned, Vern, are passable, but it's a very slow go this morning. We're going to talk first about the conditions out here, because if you do have to head out, it's very windy, very cold. The snow is still coming down here. The good news is in the last half hour, we have seen the snow kind of lighten up a little bit. The visibility is a little bit better over the last half hour or so. Now, take a look at 145, and you can see that there is snow on this roadway. Cars are moving along. It is a slower pace, but it is passable this morning. Now, what I want you to keep in mind is that this is one of the major roadways in the area, and there's a lot of snow on this. So the secondary roadways, they still have even more snow on them. If you don't have to go out this morning, then I would suggest that you just stay at home and enjoy the snowfall. Off in the distance, you can see 22. Same situation there. There is snow on 22 right now, but there are cars moving along just at a slower pace this morning. Now, one thing that, like I just mentioned, the wind, it is really, really whipping pretty good out here. There's a lot of drifting. There's a lot of blowing of the snow. So it's hard to get a snowfall total here. I would say we have anywhere from five to six inches of snow. If you can remember back, if you're watching us at 8 o'clock, I put my foot in the snow over here, and you can see that the snow has already filled back in because of that drifting and that blowing of the snow out here. So if you have to go out today, just keep in mind that you want to bundle up, and as you're driving, you want to take your time. But if you can stay at home with a, a nice cup of hot chocolate, that would be my best suggestion. Live here from the Whitehall in Perkins, at, well, I'm at Perkins in Whitehall, not in the Whitehall in Perkins. Mark Shanderberger, let's send it over to uh, Pam, who is in Why I'm Missing. Pam? Yeah, you can get a little tongue-tied out here with the wind whipping out. Um, earlier, about a half hour ago, I said, oh, the visibility is not so bad. But actually, because of the wind now and the snow is still coming down, it is getting difficult to see. We're not seeing too many cars out here. We're on Museum Road and Lancaster Avenue. One car just actually just drove down uh, Lan uh, Lancaster. We see a lot of plows, uh, private plow drivers doing uh, parking lots and driveways, and also the uh, borough and township guys are out here getting on the roads. But um, before I had mentioned that the roads, you could actually see pavement. Right now, you can't. There's probably about a good inch or so on even on the roadways. Uh, we're also hearing that there are some um, minor accidents. Uh, people are getting stuck in Reading. We're hearing uh, four or five cars are actually stuck. They can't get out. And in Lower Alsace Township, there's actually a bus that's just spinning its wheels and stuck in the road. So uh, we keep on saying don't go out if you don't have to. That's the reason why, because even if you can get onto a road that is passable, in all likelihood you got to use some sort of secondary road, you might get stuck in the snow. So if you're not going out, in all likelihood you're going to have to be shoveling at some point today. You might want to wait until it stops. Um, we were, uh, I was reading a report from the Department of Health, of Pennsylvania's Department of Health, and they have some recommendations. They said if you're going to go out and shovel, you want to make sure that you warm up first. So um, before I do uh, do that, uh, before I show you how to properly shovel, I'm going to be doing some jumping jacks and warming up, and we'll see you in a half hour, and we'll uh, show you how to shovel right. Talk to you soon. Back to Ed. <laughs> Don't overdo it, Pam. It's good to see you. Wow. Uh, that's uh, really uh, kind of going above and beyond the duty. Good to see everybody. And again, I, I want to stay, I invite you to stay with us here. We're going to be giving you updates right on through now. We've decided to stay with you uh, nonstop. So we're going to continue to keep, just give you kind of uh, coverage here as conditions.
conditions warrant. But I want to be able to quickly tell you before we go to commercial break, we've got the winter storm warning in effect. I want to be able to show you a couple of pictures here. Uh, and as we take a look at some of these pictures that were taken in Fleetwood to get some sense here, uh, Fleetwood, of course, Berks County and some parts of Montgomery County clearly getting the bullseye right now. Uh, he was estimating in Berks, Henry Crush, uh, between 8 and 12 inches of snow. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We've got some very heavy amounts here in the southern tier counties. Of course, when we come on back, I'm going to be talking to Jim Smith from the Bethlehem Streets Department. And we've got lots of other interviews lined up. No reason to leave your house. Just grab your favorite hot chocolate or coffee. Get, get some type of uh, snack and just stay with us. Kick back, make yourself comfortable. We're going to keep you covered right here on WFMZ 69. Now. Our call from Jim Smith from the Bethlehem Streets Department. As soon as we get him, we'll get him on the air. But I want to give you some a couple of maps here to bring you the latest here as far as temperatures throughout the region. Obviously, this is not the type of snow really great for making snowmen. Very cold, very dry snow. That's good news for uh, it's not going to be the back-breaking type snow. So that is uh, very, very important. Dynamics changing with this storm fascinating stuff. One of the best reasons why you want to stay tuned right here. Take a look again. If you're watching us in HD, you can see just the incredible clarity and the beauty of these pictures and the, the, the imagery. I want you to be able to notice that just here in the last, uh, I'd say, hour or so, what we were seeing is the drier air starting to drop in. The snow, that northern edge, had made its way into from the in, above, above the Pennsylvania New York border. But what's happening is it's kind of like a transfer of energy. That storm off the coast of Norfolk now, it's really kind of taken hold and we're seeing essentially the, the the energy pivot from back here where the you see the focus you was watch this right with the focus was here and everything circulating around it to now off the coast and now we're seeing kind of those bands even that gradient tightening up even more as if we didn't have enough challenging forecasts it's tightening up even more so the further north you go even lesser amounts and that snow just continues to fall so the southern areas and the southeastern areas especially continue to see the heaviest amounts of of uh, snow we got jim smith on the phone from bethlehem streets department jim tell us what you've got there well we're uh we're running with the 40 units and uh, we're on the mains right now we're pairing off and we're going into the side streets trying to open up some of them and going back onto the mains. Uh, one thing we would appreciate if uh, the residents would try to stay in, uh, if they have to get out for emergencies only, it makes our job a little easier. I hear you, Jim. You know, one of the things that I know, well, this is, this is really very true of before the holiday season. Of course, vendors and folks that have retail businesses, they always say, you know, it, it's, it, it's kind of a fine balance because you want folks to stay off the roads. But, you know, oftentimes they say, but well, you're, you're keeping folks away from my business. But, of course, this is a type of a situation when I guess when you get a storm, at least of this magnitude, where you're talking about the totals that we've got. And we're seeing wide varying amounts where you are in Bethlehem. Most of the amounts are in that we had been forecasting the four to eight inch range and I think we may end up you know somewhere in that kind of like it for at least for the city of Bethlehem by the time it's all said and done probably in that like six to ten inch range uh, with a little more accumulation here uh, over the next couple of hours what so so I guess in a storm of that size I guess it really is essential for your for you guys to, to do your job to keep them off the roads yeah that, that's correct uh, right now I'm looking out uh, the office window here and it looks like we have around five and a half, six inches laying right now in front of the office. Okay. So. Yeah, it's I come down pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that's that's exactly, and I think I, over the next couple of hours we're going to continue. Once we get in past midday, early afternoon, things are going to start to wrap up. We're going to be back in just a little bit. Again, don't go away. Full arsenal of maps, lots more information. Plus, we'll review all the latest model information. Thanks so much for letting us kind of provide you this information. And for all the emails, wfmz.com. Stay with us. We are nonstop. This is wall-to-wall -wall coverage. You're watching a special edition of 69 News.